Hey guys, it's Wowus. Uh, we're here with American Truck Simulator, and today I want to talk about the AI in the game. So I popped into this um, Christmas World of Trucks challenge, um, and I'm doing delivery from Santa Fe, and we're on this little side street right here you can see on the map um, that goes nowhere. Um, and look at the traffic, the backup here to this one light, single lane, um, so there's nowhere uh, to get into the traffic. You basically have to cut off a bunch of cars because no one uh, will give up the right of way to get into the street, um, which is a, a challenge, obviously, with a truck that's big. So you just have to basically jam yourself through. Um, and so what I'm, I guess, confused about is uh, since, I don't know, maybe November, um, the AI in the game has gotten progressively worse. Um, and it's gotten to the point where it's becoming near impossible uh, to drive sort of excellent missions sometimes. Um, and this traffic, while it's kind of a quirky thing, um, is definitely not, you know, the end all be all of, of problems in the game. Um, but it's symptomatic of something is wrong with the AI traffic in the game. Now, the AI traffic has never been perfect in the game. The game's always had problems with traffic. Cars always do sort of weird things. They don't drive, as I mentioned in my first video, um, the way that you'd expect cars in the United States to drive necessarily. Um, and that's okay because it was predictable, right? So cars would move predictably and other trucks would move predictably. So you kind of guess what they were going to do, even if it wasn't what you'd expect them to do. Once you learn kind of the nuance of the game, you knew how cars would come in and out. And again, um, you know, again, looking at this, I'm trying to just do uh, a trip over to Gallup here. And I'm not going to. Uh, play with the whole thing because I have a couple of other examples uh, that I want to show you guys. So let's move on to uh, the next clip. So you guys can watch in this clip and what you'll see is I'm behind a bus right now, but um, this traffic or the, uh, the road is about to change into a two lane um, and I'm going to be going into the passing lane to move past this bus. Um, and then there's going to be a car coming in the opposite direction, um, taking one of the on ramps. Um, and you see the speed limit here is just about 30, and then it speeds up a little bit as we come up ahead here. Um, so overall, not traveling too, too fast, um, but we're here in the left lane. Now watch this traffic on the left. It's going to be a white SUV or white car um, that's going to make a, a left-hand turn directly in front of me when I'm going pretty much uh, full speed. Um, and I'm going, again, just about the speed limit here. Um, and then watch this right up here. So. Um, right where this turn is, this guy is gonna um, take a left and turn right here, and even with full braking, you can't stop the truck and you end up taking some collision damage. Just overall a pretty frustrating experience. Um, and again, this is something that, that specifically is, is something that maybe we've seen before in American Truck Simulator, um, but never quite as prevalent. I've seen it um, more recently um, and I don't know if it's something that they did when they patched the game or uh, made some changes to the game but something is up the AI it's not acting the way it used to act and it's not acting correctly usually it would obey um, limits like that so let's throw up another example here another egregious example of the AI um, just kind of going nuts and so what you're gonna see here um, is uh, we're heading down the highway um, and uh, we get passed on the left by a police car. We're going under the speed limit, actually pretty decently under the speed limit here. Um, the speed limit is 65 and we're only going about 45. Um, and then I realize I'm in the exit only lane and I need to get over. Um, so obviously this car passes me on the left, so I decide to let it pass. Go to my left blinker, turn over, and this car decides um, to a full complete stop in the middle of the highway. Um, I swerve to kind of avoid it and slam my car directly. I would have been better off actually rear-ending the car, maybe swerving to the um, to the left. Um, but I figured swerving to the right, I might be able to stop it. Um, I then proceed to try to back up, and I slam into the police car behind me, which is of course just how you want to spend your afternoon playing the truck simulator. Um, so I don't know what is going on with the game, but there, there's something up with the AI and it's just sort of acting bizarrely. The only thing I can think of as to why it might have done that in that situation is I did have my left hand blinker on so I'm wondering if it was trying to slow down like the cars normally do to slow down behind you um, when your truck is merging left when you put your blinker on 
Um, but it waited way too long. It was past me by the time I did that. I didn't start my turn into the left lane um, until it had already passed me. So there really is no reason that car should have stopped. There's nothing in front of it um, to, to sort of block it or signal it to, to slow down. It just decided to do it on its own, which is um, very unpredictable, very difficult behavior uh, for you to avoid as a, as a gamer. And then I have one last clip here that I want to um, pass on to you guys, and we'll fade right into this here. Um, and this is a, again, another similar thing um, where you're going to see a car on the right here go right into the left lane at about five miles an hour um, when the car is in front of it slowed down. Now, obviously, it can't speed into the left lane um, the way the AI is set up, but a, tr a car like this should know that there's a car right here and there's almost no way to stop it. I managed to brake pretty hard, kind of swerve back and forth and just miss it. But um, it's, I'd say, an overall frustrating experience, and um, I can see why a lot of folks uh, are frustrated. There was a huge thread on Reddit um, just a, a couple of days ago talking about this AI issue, and it seems to be pretty consistently poor. Um, and I, I do feel like it's gotten worse. I've played this game now for two years, probably, um, and this is really the worst that I've seen. And it's almost every single drive that I do, and I've been doing a lot of driving over the holidays here um, as I'm trying to as I just finished the Christmas challenge um, and so I don't know it just was not a very fun experience for me overall with a number of random collisions like that so I'd love to hear your thoughts your comments your ideas about what's going on here is it is it me as a bad driver is it AI is something up are you all seeing something like that um, and then we'll get back to some more regular stuff as well um, we're going to be heading into Oregon that up on the DLC uh, during the Steam sale for just 11 bucks, so we'll be heading up to Oregon uh, in the next video and setting up um, a garage up there, I'm trying to decide where to put it um, in Oregon, um, and really try to explore and we'll do a review of it at some point. So if you like uh, this content, please like, subscribe, 